Hey guys, hope you're doing fine. I'm back with the best loot I got from my recent ancient tunnels runs. In the background you'll be able to see my gear, charms, build and stats. I've recently upgraded the armor and weapon of my mercenary, so he's going to be a bit tougher from now on. In this one, I'll be running with a blizzard build that is perfect for this farming spot. In the outro, I'll also show you a quick run of mine. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel, as well as liking and sharing my videos. It helps a lot. We are already starting to form a great community. I can't wait to see where we go from here. Feel free to use the timestamps below, in case you wish to go straight for the highlights. I'd like to remind you, the footage has been filmed on Player One difficulty online. Thank you for the support, it's time to watch, see you in the comment section. We start things off with Titan's Revenge Javelin that rode very low on both enhanced damage and life steal. Still, we didn't take that many runs to find our first decent unique item. Run 11, we get a very nice mole charm that gives 5 to all resistances. This is the max it may roll with and these are very useful and desirable. One run later, we get yet another Andario's Visage. This item drops for me all the time lately, I've already given away so many. Now we skip to run 40, when we get two interesting items one after another. First, the Frostwind Cryptic Sword. followed by Natalia's scissors. I don't think they're very useful, but their drop rate is on the low side. I've also found Natalia's boots during this session. We loot a unique ring on run 48, but you already know what happens most of the time. It's another very low Nagel. Next, I'll show all of the mid to low runes I found during these runs. Run 74, we find the Hell Slayer Decapitator, another item I find quite frequently. Run 90, the Demon Horn Sage drops. It rolls very low on all variables except for additional skills to masteries. Still, it's an interesting item that isn't found very often. On the next run, we find our first skewer. I'd like to create an elemental druid once I've assembled an enigma, so I'll definitely put it to good use. On run 96, Trongu's gloves drop. They are great for all casters. The armor from the same set also dropped a little bit later. One more run later, and we get our third Sheiko since D2 are launched. It's a nice one with mid defense. The other two dropped from Andario and Diablo. Run 99, we get Scarab Shell Boots. It makes sense to find these within this place. Unfortunately, they don't roll very well. Run 100, we get one of the two Bukato Swords. We skip to run 131, when an interesting rare helm for elemental druids drops. If it gave you to druid skills, it would have been quite good. Same run, we get our first unique amulet. It ends up being the cat's eye. Run 140, we get a unique ogre mo. That would be the wind hammer. The mandatory G phase we find each time drops on run 167. It would have been nice to find a unique one, but two runs later we get on those set spired helm. We jump to run 176 to find our second skewer, this time with one to work rise. The last item I'd like to show today is looted on run 181. 
it's an ethereal Eldritch Orb. It gives max energy, while the rest is not even worth mentioning. As promised, you'll now be able to see a full run. It took about 2 minutes and a half to get to the tunnels and clear everything. Sometimes I go for packs of monsters that are outside as well, so I'd say it took me about 9 hours to finish this session. In the background you can see a recap of the items we found. Note that I used telekinesis on urns, chests, shrines, and also to pick up stuff faster. If you are not always utilizing this ability, I highly recommend it. About the drops, I expected more. Not a single high rune feels bad, but it was bound to happen. In my previous runs I got plenty of nice loot, so I can't complain and it can't always work out this well. If you aren't interested in seeing this, please skip to the preview of my next video. In the next one, I'll be visiting Nilatak and Pindleskin, 500 kills each, running with a lightning build. In the near future, I'll be able to show you some Uber Trist from runs as well. Thanks for staying until the end. See you in the next one, as well as in the comment section.